It's Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. On this day in history, Alexander Graham Bell successfully launched a bunch of scientists in the lab to force them to figure out how to make a telephone work and then let them out while taking credit for all their work because it was his lab. That's right, Minyards, we listen. I'm Austin, and here are today's announcements for Delville High School. A representative from Distinguished Young Women visited campus yesterday. Packets are available from Ms. Howard for all junior girls interested in representing Delville at the event in June. Yesterday, softball took a devastating loss in the last inning of the game against Sampson, but baseball won another game. Today, Go softball baseball. will play at Carroll. Tickets are available at the gate. On Thursday, we've got another set of home games for both teams. No student discounts are currently available. The Pride of the South concert band will be traveling to state assessment this Wednesday, March 8th. Students will remain in class for first, second, and third period. The bus will begin to load at the beginning of fourth period. They will be performing an enterprise high at 12. Everyone is invited to attend. Wednesday is scheduled half day for parent-teacher conferences. All students who have a D or lower currently or previously in any class will have the opportunity to participate in a teacher-parent-student conference to talk about ways to rectify the situation. Students are reminded of the no pass, no play rule instituted by the Alabama Department of Education. District Day Honor Band is this weekend in Enterprise. Students will be leaving for the event during first period on Friday. The concert is Saturday at lunch. Teachers, a list of participating students will be in your email later this week. Your book is taking official portraits on Thursday. SGA, FFA officers, FBLA officers, and band officers should be ready to have their mean mode recorded. Daylight, saving time, daylight savings time begins this Saturday night. Enjoy it. It might be the last one ever. Mr. McCall and Ms. McDaniel are selling prom water. It will, in fact, make you more beautiful and help you fit into your dress. Bottles are available for $1. Chicken biscuits are on sale Friday during break. First come, first serve at Coach Waller's room. Gems, GEMS applications for student workers and student attendees are available in the front office on all campuses. Papers are due back by the end of March. ACT demographics are being completed beginning on, at 1 on Friday. Be prepared to know all of your information. March 13th is rising 9th grade night at the high school. Teachers should save the date. Organization leaders and department chairs should be present to help future students make decisions about scheduling and life in general. The event begins at 5 in the DHS lecture room. March 14th is the official junior testing date with writing on campus. The junior class has started their 16 days of heavy ACT review during homeroom. All clubs and activities have paused regular meeting schedules to make ACT prep a priority. We look forward to seeing it pay off. Testing for the spring includes work keys on April 19th. The ACT makeup is April 11th. March 24th is the Color Guard Majorette Tryouts for the Fall 2023 season. In preparation, Allie and Holly will be on campus March 13th, March 15th, and March 20th through 23rd from 3.30 until 5 each day. Packets will not be given out until March 10th. April 21st has been set as the official prom date. Get your dates in order. ESCC has an open audition date on March 9th and 10th for music, art, digital media, computer graphics, drawing, and photography. Senior yearbook ads are now available for purchase. See Haley Jones or Miss Souders for details. A full page is $175. You can hack your page or get a page with your friend. Pages can be designed by you or by the staff. Lunch for today is burrito, Spanish rice, peas, peas and carrots, chocolate chip cookies, cinnamon apples, and milk. Lunch for tomorrow is PB&J, carrots, chips, peach cup, Scooby-Doo cookie and milk. Breakfast for tomorrow is cinnamon toast cereal bar, strawberry fruit squeezable pouch, and milk. That's all for today. Go Warhawks. Hey, Scooby-Doo so bad.